Hi, I'm Bridget from A Bridge Over Meandering Waters. This is the Graco mm -hmm. Extended Fit. It just arrived on my mm -hmm. doorstep last night. This is the unboxing video of the Graco Extended Fit. <laughs> We're all excited. Let's get going. You can hear my little one in the background. He's, he's uh, supervising. He's also the cameraman for today. So before I open it up, let's give the box a spin. I'll take the camera down for this. There's the front of the box. Nice, beautiful, big picture of the Graco Extended Fit. Uh, description of the materials on the top up here is the, uh, the model number, the date of manufacture, all the Graco information, stuff like that. Uh, the rear facing weight limits, the forward facing harness weight limits. This is just a convertible seat. It does not booster, it's just rear facing harness, forward facing harness. Shows the uh, five inch extension foot down here. Again, the rear facing and forward facing weight limits. Uh, information in Spanish. Thank you, Logan, for that. Uh, black and white, or blue and white picture of the front. Again, it's just the seat, rear facing limits, forward facing limits, weight limits. Um, all of this in English, and of course, it's covered up by the Packing stickers. Naturally, they don't do this the easy way, do they? All right, this is the unboxing video. Let's unbox it. Logan, do you want to be in the video, sweetheart? <coughs> yes, this is your seat, isn't it? <coughs> Parental warning. This is a this is a box knife. It's very sharp. Not to be played with by children. One reason I had him up high in his high chair supervising instead of crawling around while I was playing with it. All right. I'm gonna grab up the camera here really quick. We're gonna show you. This is the boy who gets the seat. He doesn't know it, but he's very excited. All right, so here is the extend fit in the box. There's a cardboard flap along the top and back. That goes over there. The seat itself is in a plastic bag. I'll get pictures of this before I go any further. Uh, looks like there's head padding, seat padding, cup holders, manual and registration card are all within the box. My, my toddler is asking me to play a TV show for him. Hang on. I released the baby from his high chair, the toddler is watching a TV screen, so hopefully we can get this all finished with little to no noise mishaps. I do apologize for the baby screaming in the earlier portion of this video. I will try to edit that out so hopefully it won't break your ears like it broke mine. So I got the box open, uh, I got pictures of what's inside, let's pull it out. Under the seat, uh, this was under the right side, the baby's right side, so that was about there. That was about there somewhere. And then on the other side, no way. No, I apologize, I had it backwards. This, okay. All right, that little cardboard footing came around the base of the front of the seat. Inside the box is another piece of cardboard fitting. Bring the camera over here. That was around the back of the base. 
so it would have been down there. Alright, so I'm going to throw the excess back into the box. The bag is coming down off the top. Again, suffocation hazard. Keep the kids away. First impressions. This is a very light seat. I'm comparing it to my next fit, which is 25 pounds. This isn't exactly as light as, for instance, my Shure Ride or my Costco Sonera Next, but it's definitely a lot lighter than the next fit and it's going to be a lot easier to maneuver around. Um, this guy can use the lower anchors latch install for up to a child weight of 45 pounds which just by the math tells me that this seat weighs less than 20 pounds. I will get a, an official, well, a sort of official weight um, for my review of this seat. I'll try and add it to the video, but it's relatively light. All right, first impressions of the seat itself. All this stuff, the cup holders are in a bag, the manual is in a bag, the registration card, is not in a bag, but they are all on a cord that is looped around the uh, the right the child's right shoulder strap. So that's where it is. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this guy. Put these off to the side for just a moment. We'll come back to those. Get that guy off. All in all, it, it feels decently plush to me. Um, this can slide up and down a little bit. Uh, the, let me loosen this. Let me figure out how to loosen this. Ah, okay. Okay, to loosen it, you reach a finger in through here. You're gonna feel the uh, locking mechanism. It's got a kind of a hook on it. You lift up on that. I have no idea if this is normal for Graco seats. This is my first Graco convertible. So I'm learning as I go along. All right, so that's loosened. Let me unbuckle these guys and unbuckle the chest clip. This is nice. It actually has GracoBaby.com on here. If you really need to go look up the manual or something, there's the website right there on the chest clip. All right, uh, the shoulder pads are Velcro. I'm going to leave them on for now. I'm kind of assuming that we're going to like them. All right, when this guy comes out, I'm going to make a disclaimer here really quick. I'm going to tilt up the camera so I can be serious about this. Fall. I'm going to make a disclaimer. I read the manual online before I purchased this seat. Most people don't. That's fair. Really, the first thing you should do whenever you open up a new seat, before you even play with it, before you do what I'm doing with it, you open up the manual. Take a look at it, read through it, familiarize yourself with how to adjust the harness, with how to move the headrest. In this case, moving the headrest does adjust the harness. Makes it easy. Things like that. Familiarize yourself with the seat before you start playing with it. I call it playing with it because it's fun for me. Um, but you don't want to just pull it out of the box, go install it in the car, and put your baby in it. You might not have done it right. There's a lot of questions you're going to come across while you're trying to install the seat. 
A lot of them will be answered just by reading through the manual first, just by glancing through the manual first, but really you need to read through it, familiarize yourself with where the instructions are within the manual. The installation instructions, fitting, fitting the seat to the child, washing the seat cover, things like that. There's my disclaimer, moving on. Okay. So like I said, there's the seat pad. This is not as substantial as it looks. It's thicker up front and it thins out here in the middle. It's a little bit thicker again towards the back. Uh, that's going to be pretty good for infants, I think. I think. All right. This is the position that the headrest comes in. They have the back panel folded. The crease of the back panel is down here at the back of the seat pan. Pretty interesting. The little gaps in the seat panel here are for the hip straps to come through. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. Uh, the seat panel here hits where the crotch strap comes through in the inner position. There are two crotch strap positions here. There's an inner position and an outer position. The manual will tell you which one to use. I forget exactly what the manual said about them, so I will be looking that up before I place my child in here. So let me just see if this goes any lower. That is as low as it goes. All right. I had to take a break to play with the kids. Now, I mentioned in my disclaimer that really the first thing you should do is open up the manual. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the manual and take a look and see what we have here. We have the extend to fit manual in Spanish and the extend to fit manual in English. Straightforward. I bring this up because there's one very important thing that you have to do before you use the seat. And I'm going to go ahead and do it on the video. Page 1A, Section A, Quick Guide to Your Manual. Step 1, attach the cup holders. The cup holders have to be attached before you can use the seat. So I'm going to go ahead and attach the cup holders before I forget anything else, or before I do anything else. Kyle, you make it very difficult to do an unboxing video. Hey, leave my camera alone. You silly boy. Scissors, yes, these are mama's scissors. These are very, very sharp. You do not play with these scissors. If you ever want to cut something, you come let me know. Either I will cut it or I will find child safe scissors for you. All right? All right. Cup holder one. Cup holder two. Warning on the bag. Suffocation hazard. Keep it out of the reach of kids and pets. Now, cup holders. I want to see if there's a left and right. They appear to be exactly the same. No indication of left or right. Let me double check the manual. Now, like I said, I read the manual before I even bought the seat, but I'm checking it again. All right, so what the instructions say is remove seat cover. Remove it, remove it? Yes, remove it, remove it. I guess. Oh boy, this is tight fit. Logan, you're crawling right under the tripod, honey. Are you going to come sit in the seat and show it off? You're a silly little boy. Did you know that? See, this is what happens with an unboxing video. You run into stuff you didn't expect to find. Oh, like there's an elastic tab under there. That's interesting. But in the meantime, I got the seat panel off, or the seat padding off. Logan, not the manual. Line up the tabs and insert them in. Looks like, okay, so there's this little plastic tab here. It's closer to one side of the, of the cup holder than the other side. If I try and put it so that it's on the outside, it's not going to stay there. It's not going to stick. So it obviously goes like this. Oh, and cute. 
There's uh, a couple of tabs on the underside here. I'll get a picture on my camera. So you can see this is a cup holder. Ta-da, it's a cup holder, isn't that sweet? So like I said, here's the tab that's gonna be inserted into the hole in the cover. I think he likes his seat. No, he likes the manual. So uh, this side is gonna go closest to the inside of the seat. It's gonna be pushed down. There's a couple of little plastic tabs here. They have little slots within the car seat. I will get a picture of that really quick. Trying this again. So this should push down. <laughs> Good. I'll tell you this. Once you get it on, I don't think you're going to be able to get it off. Now you heard that good solid snap, right? Cup holder's not coming off now. All right, let's see if I can get fabric back over. I bet that elastic tab is supposed to come off before I do any of this. This is why you should read through the entire manual. Because I will bet, there we go, that ought to help. there's instructions in there for actually doing this in a much easier way. So I'll check the instructions before I put in the other cup holder and I'll get a, a close-up video of doing this. All right, close-up shot indeed. About now is when I wish I had my husband here to help out. Now, what you just saw me do, you might have seen me do it, the panel, extend to fit panel, this is what the seat is famous for. Well, aside from the 50 pound rear facing limit, this is how they get away with it. This panel right here, there's a um, red lever. It's the extension panel red lever. You pull it, and the panel comes out. It's that simple. We'll talk about that later. All right, but to get the seat cover off, make sure the camera can see this. There is a little, uh, can't even see my own video camera screen. All right, here's the elastic tab, elastic tie. It's all black on dark blue on black on dark blue. I apologize. That's the seat cover I wanted, but of course everything else is black. There is a little elastic tab, elastic tie here. It's connected to a little hook. You undo the elastic from the hook, just put the seat on the side, grab the camera and do it this way. All right, so there's the elastic tab that's holding the seat cover in place. There's the hook. All right. So I'm going to undo the elastic from the hook. And that releases the seat padding, which can now be pulled up and out of the way to install the cup holder. All right. The cup holder. few different angles. That's the, this is the slot where the cup holder goes. Remember I said cup holder. I'm sorry, I'm trying to look at the camera screen and it's upside down from me. Alright, cup holder. So like I said, this side that's closest here, 
That's the side that's going to go into the seat. All right, the plastic tabs on the side here and here line up with plastic tabs on the top of the seat. It's really pretty simple. You get everything lined up and you just push. If you don't get it on the first try, that's fine. It'll go through eventually. You can reach through the back and kind of feel where the tab comes through. I wouldn't, I wouldn't advise trying to help the tab go through. You might end up pitching your own fingers. Loud, solid, pop. Cup holder's in. It's not coming back out. So you've got the cup holders installed. We did the close-up shot on this side. We did this one first. So the cup holders are installed. Now we've got to put the seat fabric back on. So what you're first going to do is you're going to pull it over the cup holders, pull it back into place. This isn't so important to get this completely done right here, but you do kind of want to start tucking the, the edge of the fabric around the plastic. That kind of gets it set up for the next step. All right. I've practiced this a little bit. I'm finding it's best if you kind of just hold that right there, pull the lever to pull the uh, extension panel as far out as you can. You see the elastic ties are here. I'm going to do this side first. The reason to pull the panel out is because if it's in, if the panel is in, then this whole pathway is blocked and you can't see it. And this is exactly where that tie is going to go, or going to come, I should say. It's going to hook onto, this is difficult no matter which camera I've used, this little hook right here. There's a little hook right there. As you can see, when the panel is pulled out, and then I pull the elastic tab, elastic strap, sorry, this way, I can see where it goes, where it, where it travels. And then it's just a matter of kind of pushing the hook to expose it and hook the elastic strap onto it. Not too difficult, so long as you can see what you're doing. going to do it on this side now. This is angled awkwardly for me because I'm sideways to the seat. I want to be able to show it on the camera. But again, it's more or less the same. You pull the elastic strap back this way. Push. I'm pushing in on the... If, if you follow my hand down, there's, there's uh, at the crease inside the seat kind of find where the hook is and kind of push that out. It kind of gives me a little bit of extra oomph. And like I said, I can do it, do it a lot easier if I can actually see the hook instead of trying to do it by feel. Usually. There it goes. So now you can see there's the elastic coming across here and it's hooked onto the hook. And the fabric is back on. One other thing, forgot about this. Do pull the, pan the fabric here over the edge of the plastic on both sides. There. Push that in. Make sure that the fabric down here is pulled over. And you're good. 
I did want to talk about uh, three more things three uh, before I wrap this up. Uh, first off, how to adjust the seat to the child. We kind of mentioned read the manual, it will tell you how, but for a visual demonstration you see me do this throughout the video. The extension panel is this little red lever right here. You're going to squeeze the lever and then you can pull the panel out. When it's stowed all the way in, in the manual, that's called position one. There's position two position 3, and position 4 is all the way out and locked. Do make sure it's locked in position before you install it in the car. Alright, to recline the seat, it's this gray lever down here that says recline. Set it on a flat surface. Now it is currently in recline position 1. There are six recline positions. I think I skipped one, or skipped number two. Skipped position number two specifically. You can see it's clearly marked. Positions one through four can be used rear facing. Positions four, five, and six can be used forward facing, but there are restrictions based on weight. And you can see that on this label uh, here at the front of the seat. The other side of the seat has the same information, but it's in Spanish. Because remember I said there's an English manual and there's a Spanish manual. The other adjustment, let me raise up the camera for this, is the headrest. I mentioned earlier, moving the headrest adjusts the straps. That's why I loosened the straps before I did this. This is in its lowest position. I showed that at the beginning of the video, as soon as I got the seat out of the box. You can raise it. There's one, there's one position. There's another position. There's another position. And I'm going to have to pull the video back to see all of this because that is the highest position right there. Pull the video back so you get the full effect. That is as high as this headrest can go. And it can go all the way back down for an infant. There you have it. That is the unboxing and initial preparation of the Graco Extender Fit, starting to get it ready to fit to your child and install in your car. So, like I said, get it out of the box. Read the manual, install the cup holders, we'll go from there. Stay tuned.